It's a video camera that I got here for a security camera. Okay. Well, in the owner's manual online, it says that the SD card files are encrypted and don't even bother trying to put the SD card in your computer that you have to use the app to access them. Which I thought, okay, yeah, that, that so makes that sense. that makes it useless to you. Well, no, that's a security feature. Okay. So that if somebody steals your camera... Oh, they can't access it. They can't access... It's your specific Mac address or something. Well, yeah, you're supposed to log in with the app with uh, authentication. It builds an encryption channel between the, uh, the camera and your far phone. off from a Mac address. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's made so that you... You're supposed to be the only one able to access it, and if somebody takes your camera, they can't view all your footage, like, say, if it's in your bedroom or you're in your living room or something, you know, and there's sensitive stuff. Well, I wanted to use it as a time-lapse camera, so I was kind of unhappy that it's encrypted. So I thought, well, let me see, what can I do to maybe hack into this thing and figure out how the encryption works? So I opened up the... So I, I went into the thing, and it's... All of the folders are listed by date and by time and everything like that. And there's a whole bunch of like dot data files. So I opened them up in the notepad and tried to figure out if I could figure out what kind of a header it has, what kind of encryption it is. I opened it up in 7-zip. I tried running it through the video editor program, the command line thing here. Mm -hmm. And what do I find out? They're not encrypted at all. The only thing they did was change the file from dot mp4 to dot data. They completely straight up lie on their website when they say it's encrypted for okay. security. So you can totally steal somebody's uh, security camera, take out the memory card, and go through all the footage on it. So they straight up lied on their on their manual. All right. So are you gonna make a video online and call them out on it? <laughs> well, I am recording myself. Tell you this. I love these cameras. They do exactly what I want. But, uh, they make you money. <laughs> they're definitely not going to um, make other people happy about this. Because they all thought... I even told... I told Jeff to get one. I told him that it was... One of the features is that they are encrypted. And that these people can't steal your footage off That's the memory card. It's not encrypted. Oh, it's not encrypted at all. They totally straight up lied. How crazy is that? So the software definitely produces a rather glitchy video file. That has to be reconstructed using FFmpeg. But, it works just fine. Here's the proof. Right here, I've got a bunch of files that came off the camera. These were not recorded using the app. These are recorded using copying off the SD card. Look at that. Oh, I can totally use it to make time-lapse videos just like I wanted. Alright, let's do another proof. Let's plug in this thing here. Sorry, my autofocus on the front camera is broken. Alright, now it's starting up. I'll wait for a second. And I'll put in a video overlay once it's... For some reason the autofocus is broken on my phone. Oh, there we go. It's starting up. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi right now. You can see that. It doesn't record audio when you're not connected with the app. Well, look at that. All I had to do was pop out the SD card, put it on the um, computer here, and rename the file to .mp4. That is not encryption. That is obfuscation. Get your words correct there, Genie. Mercury. Mercury Innovations. Whatever your company name is. I'm personally super happy about this. I wanted to be able to access it. I didn't want it to be encrypted. But, I'm sure there's quite a few people who are going to be all like, Oh my goodness, they told us it was encrypted. I thought it was safe. I thought somebody... Like, what if this camera's in your bedroom? Or even in your living room, anywhere else with a private area, you know? Somebody breaks into your house, oh, ooh, I'm gonna take that. They take your cameras, they take the memory cards and everything. You're thinking that, hey, it's uh, encrypted, so, oh well, it's not that big of a deal, I lost my camera, but at least the footage from me and my, my friend there in our bedroom type of thing, you know. At least that's not gonna get leaked, well, ten days later or whatever, um... Guess who shows up on a leaked video? You, because the company was lying to you. It's not secure. Not secure at all. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know the things. Tell me if you have these cameras. I love this camera. I'm going to keep using the camera. But I just think it's hilarious that they straight up lied like that. Anyways, thanks for watching.
like and subscribe. There's many more content. I put out at least one video a day. Anyways, thanks for watching.